guys and welcome back to the second part in this tutorial series and today we are actually going to finish the tutorial manager um, after that we are going to well create the very first tutorial and that it will work and it will just be if you press certain keys so for example if you want to show that you can walk around and that will be it for today next week or next part we are going to uh, explain or I'm going to explain how to actually edit within your scene so it will work and we're also going to add probably a few other tutorials and the last week in the last part that's part four we are going to add the last few tutorial and well after that you already got like a set of tutorial things so for example the on tracker enter for example if your enemies will die and also if your moose, mouse looks around or clicks on something we also have that so and your keys of course what we are going to do today so we want to set the next tutorial that's something that's very important so we got a public void set next tutorial and we need a variable for this because we need to know which tutorial is going to be the current tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an int of the current order. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say that the current tutorial is going to be the same as the cat tutorial by order and we pass the current order. So now we know what the current tutorial is. And the very first thing we're going to do is a check is there actually a tutorial so is there still a tutorial left if it isn't that can basically mean two things or you didn't set up something right you messed up the order or it is finished and we just think that it's always finished so we are going to create here later on in this tu tutorial a function that will actually just make it that you will get a text with uh, you completed all the tutorials of course you can add more in the function um, that will be working for your game with our game that's uh, with our tutorial with, that we are going to create right in this tutorial we actually don't really need anything else in that function because there isn't really a game but let's go here um, here we are going to say by the explanation text Dot text and we are just going to put the text of the current tutorial so from that the explanation that's actually all it needs to do in this set next tutorial except we still got here an, uh, well, an empty spot where we are actually going to call the uh, a function that will complete all the tutorials and that's this function so public void completed all tutorials and right here we are just going to say the text that you show on the screen will be you completed all the tutorials um, normally you would just in the end you would just put here a string that's a little bit more about your game for example uh, soldier you did this perfect um, over something like that I don't know and after here you will probably do something like a uh, load scene um, I don't know how your game is going to look so I'm just not going to do anything like that anyway you completed all the tutorials if there isn't a current tutorial left if you get a tutorial so we can just put it right here so there are two different scenarios when we are going to call the set next tutorial that's at the start because we want to start the game so we can just set next tutorial zero and on the um on another function and that is once you completed another tutorial so we've got here a function public void complete tutorial and for that we of course need to know which uh, tutorial it is 
We can pass that, but actually we don't need it because we already got variable current tutorial. So we can just say set next tutorial. It's going to be the same as the current tutorial dot order. And if you would do that, you will get the same tutorial. So we actually need to add one to get the next tutorial. So now we got all the tutorials. There's only one thing we have to do within this tutorial manager, and that is to actually just do whatever it's needed within that tutorial. So remember, we created within our tutorial scripts a public virtual void check if happening. We're just going to say that if there is currently a tutorial, and this basically means we actually assign something in this and this at null, so we won't get any null references at the end of all those tutorials once we don't cut, uh, once we completed all the tutorials. But if there is, we're just going to say current tutorial dot check if happening. But now what is this function? We call it right here, but this is a virtual void, so nothing is happening here. And for that, we need a second script. And we're going to call this script key tutorial. This script will inherit from tutorial. This means that we got here, we can just access, whoops, we can access all the variables here. So we can just say here, uh, order, or we can say uh, the explanation. We have just have access to those variables. It's actually just also within the script. And what we can say, we can use the same script. So for example, in the keys, we can say public override void check if happening. Oops. What this means is that once we got this tutorial and we just call check if happening, this is a kind of tutorial. We just set it right here. So anything that will happen, anything that is within this function will happen once we call that tutorial. So that's very handy because we don't have to specify which kind of tutorial it is uh, inside the tutorial manager. And the tutorial manager only knows it is a kind of tutorial and we will just run that function and we'll just, well, this uh, script will just do whatever it stands within this function. So now we call that, we are actually going to start creating the key tutorial. So we got here a public list of all kinds of strings. And with all the strings, then they're all keys. And this will be a new list, and this is just to make sure that we can actually access this script without any errors. So these are the keys you need to press. But it really doesn't matter in which uh, order you do it. So for example, you can press first, um, if you want to show the player to walk around, you can press first W, or first you can uh, press the D key or whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you press them in the end, you press all of them. So we're just going to do a for loop and we're going to work through each key. And we're just going to check if the input dot input string dot contains keys dot e so the input string is well a string so a text with all the keys you currently pressed within that frame so for example if i press the e s or the d key it will just see that as the e s and d key awesome it means we can remove the key remove at e to make sure that there aren't any errors, we can just say break because we don't really need any more. Um, then here, we're going to do one last thing and that is if keys. And 
and parse query. We need to put it right in the function. So here, if keys dot count is the same as zero, so it means you don't really need any other key to be pressed. Then we can say the tutorial manager dot instance. So we get the right tutorial manager dot completed tutorial. So just to once again show you guys how this works, because if you never heard of object oriented programming, this is probably kind of hard to understand right now. We've got here a tutorial manager. It's got a list of all the tutorials. A tutorial is a script that is defined right here. A tutorial can have, well, all kinds of variables. All those kinds of variables can be used in scripts that inherit from this script. Also, it can have functions, virtual functions, and we can have in another script that inherited from it the same function, only we override it, and we can just call it uh, the tutorial script and we can just start the, uh, the function that's right in within this. As for object-oriented programming, I hope you understand it a little bit, but because the main focus of this tutorial isn't about object-oriented programming, I won't discuss it any further. If you've got any questions, I will be glad to actually answer them within the comment section. And also, if there are a lot of questions and a lot of people don't really understand this, I can also make a tutorial about object-oriented programming alone. So that was it for today. Next week, we're actually going to implement it within the scene. And we are also going to have some other examples. Because the reason we didn't just say key tutorial is because we can have other tutorials which have another function. So I see you guys next time. And I really hope you learned something from this today. Bye.